<laughs> hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are live in downtown San Francisco, Pier 48, G Minds and Machines. Pretty much everybody who's anybody at GE and their customers and partners are here talking about the industrial internet, G Digital, and really the transformation as they start to bring software into the industrial world and really transform it like like, it, like it's happening consumer in a lot of other places. Right. We're joined here by our next guest coming right off his panel, Jeff Liu, the global executive sponsor, GE Industrial uh, Internal Alliance for Ernst & Young. Yeah. Not Ernst & Young anymore, right? EY now, the short and sweet, makes a better hashtag. So Jeff, welcome. Thank you, it's great to be here. It's um, my second year here uh, as part of the partnership and uh, it's very exciting to see this thing expand like all the other big uh, partner and user conferences that we know historically. But, but yeah. this one, you know, interesting, Jeff Emmelt in the keynote saying, you know, GE wants to be one of the top 10 software companies yeah. in the world. I don't yeah. know that I had heard that before. Uh, you know, I think they have a shot to do it. Um, you know, we were talking, uh, we've both spent quite a bit of time in the enterprise space, and uh, I think the operational technology, the OT space, right. very different from enterprise. It's going to uh, take some incumbents that really have the kind of nuts and bolts and greasy hand understanding of the manufacturing floor or the oil rig to be the software leaders. Uh, this isn't just you know, deploying ERP or you know, data center virtualization. Right, so. but, but, but then you also really have to have the visionary yeah. to see yeah. the opportunity right. to apply this yeah. transformation on software's eating the world yeah. to physical stuff, real yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be disruptive. Uh, you know, one way I, I try to think about it is you know, someone who played around quite a bit in the client server days with you know clients all over the valley. That was four trillion in value over 25 years created in the market uh, for millions of servers and clients being connected. Here we're talking billions of machines and sensors getting connected uh, and I think it's going to be a proportionate explosion in value creation and it's really figuring out how to take that technology bring it together with process and, and change at the manufacturing or equipment level. Yeah, so your panel was all about change in business models. And yeah. it's interesting, the, the three sexy words that keep getting thrown around here right. are, you know, no unscheduled downtime. Right, right. But that's really just the tip of the iceberg. Once you start to get this data yep. and have software and analytics yep. push down, you've seen it in, in the IT space, right? Push down to more people. Right, right. There's much bigger transformational opportunities out there than just no scheduled downtime. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit, um, you know, stereotypical now to talk about Uber or uh, Airbnb be as kind of paradigms of what happened in consumer, but I, I'm going to repeat those because there, there's a real analogy. You know, we went in tech on the enterprise level from uh, client server automation to SaaS to now actual services uh, from innovative companies like that. Uh, for IIoT, it's, it's certainly not just about conditional maintenance or no unscheduled downtime. Uh, one of the really interesting things we're doing with GE right now is at a very large global chemical company uh, where there's an industrial process that uh, we're able to say to them, look, over a 10 year period, we're going to guarantee you a certain amount of output and a certain amount of revenue. That begins to look like you know, a sequence of cash flows which looks something like a derivative almost. We can guarantee that financial outcome for them and not really even have them worry about what's going on in the actual equipment or the uh, manufacturing process itself. And that's very much like abstracting the value away from the shared asset or the asset, right. just like you saw in the consumer world. And that, that the example that gets thrown around that I've heard many times, and say in the case of GE, instead of selling an engine, right, you're selling propulsion. Right. And who's right. in a better position to maximize the propulsion return on that asset right. than the people that make it, right. monitor it, right. have the, the sum total data yeah. of all the engines into play. Or, I mean, how far away is that? Well, I, I think it's actually just a matter of defining these new business models because you definitely need, like you're saying, a player who understands the engine, understands all the protocols around operating it, and those incumbents exist. GE is probably one of the leaders there. Um, and it's really, the, the software and the technology is there as well. Now it's really you know, organizational change and business model change and just plain, you know, plain old selling that, that gets a real industry paradigm to shift all of a sudden. Yeah, good opportunities so we're for that. you guys. Yeah, right? you know, we work <laughs> a lot in terms of, uh, uh, it, I'll, I'll say this, every chief executive and chief financial officer that we speak to in our global client base 
absolutely wants to understand what industrial IoT is going to do to disrupt their business right. or to enable better growth or profitability. And it's really, uh, I think, incumbent on partners like us to help GE translate that into a business objective, help them create the models like outcome guarantees versus conditional maintenance in right. the factory sense, a performance guarantee, help them sell and, and package that to the big clients that we jointly have. And we talk all the time, we cover a lot of shows, you know, it's, it's, it's tech, process and people. Yeah. And the, te the tech's really the easiest yeah. part of the yeah. three, right? It's yeah. the people yeah. and the process yeah. that it's hard to transform. Yeah. It's, it's a very open source world. You've got plenty of partners, including ourselves, that are innovating on the application side. You know, the cloud stack could not be more efficient or cheaper connectivities there. Now it's really about making the shift happen at the business level. Uh, and the good news is, uh, globally, and I've been in Asia, India, Europe, uh, South America, and certainly all around the U.S., not a single manufacturing or industrial client that doesn't want to become more digital in terms of how they operate. Right. Yeah. So let's talk specifically about yeah. your panel. Sure. What were some of the nuggets that came out for the folks that weren't able to attend? Any surprises? Yeah. Any good uh, headbutting going uh, on, hopefully you know, a little bit? Uh, I, I would say, uh, Fairly good alignment, and maybe the only thing is some uh, disagreements on how quickly the market will change this way. Um, you know, it, it's interesting for someone who's a consultant and, and GE obviously, obviously is a provider of equipment. When when you actually talk to some operators, uh, and there were some executives of actual uh, manufacturing companies, one thing we forget about is safety. Actually, is a huge, huge element of this, and when you get that type of predictivity and, and data around a process, you actually enhance both uh, sustainability from an energy con uh, concept and, and safety from an operating concept. So, you know, some real good dividends uh, to actual, uh, the manufacturing people and manufacturing companies out there coming out of this as well. And is that a good entry point? Is that kind of a good place to start, or is that just always baked into everything these you know, guys do? You um, know, what we're finding is uh, the, the thing that attracts the C-level attention the, fir the most is that proposition that you can actually have a pretty uh, firm guarantee around outcome, whether it's a KPI, whether it's a dollar number. After that, you know, things like uh, sustainability, good energy management, safety, are just enhancers of why this is a no-brainer. Um, again, the, the solutions actually have pretty fast ROI, and if they can do things like really uh, increase safety, increase um, health, increase green green sustainability, it's uh, it becomes a no-brainer. Yeah, the second order impacts are always, always the, the, the fun ones, yeah, right? The surprises yeah, that, absolutely. like, wow. All right, Jeff, well, before we let you go, next year when we come back here, yep. what are we going to be talking about? What, what do you see kind of happening yeah. next 12 months? And yeah. then a little bit, I never want to say five years, that's yeah. like forever in this no, world. No, no. But it's, next year and kind of short term things yeah, you see happening. The, my next uh, two to four quarter uh, uh, objectives are, you know, we think there are some very large referenceable companies that are going to be the, the industry catalyst, whether that's in oil and gas, chemicals, metals consumer products, and I think next year GE and we will have some great testimonials as the pioneers for how to adopt this. Uh, and then second, I think uh, the other thing we'll be able to say next year is it's not just happening in the Western world or more developed countries. I think you'll see a lot of activity in Asia, Southeast Asia, and India. It's amazing to think that Bill and the team only launched Predix earlier this calendar yeah, year, right? Yeah, like February. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, Bill's been great. Uh, we, we signed up as a strategic partner. I think we were one of the first, and we really enjoyed the relationship with well, GE. Well, good Digital. bet, and we know you guys don't make bets unless you feel like uh, it's a good bet. Try so, not uh, to, try not good. to. Very good, well Jeff, thanks yeah. for taking a minute out yeah, of your you're day. You're welcome, thanks a lot. All right, he's Jeff Liu, I'm Jeff Frick. A lot of Jeffs, you're watching theCUBE from GE Minds and Machines 2016, downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching.